I am Sidi Paul, Biomedical Application Engineer. Welcome to ITD Group. So today we are going to discuss about the bone segmentation service that we generally provide to dental clinicians. Okay. Uh, so this is the team we have, and we provide worldwide dental practitioners providing our bone segmentation service for guided surgery planning. So we came to know, I mean, about a lot of uh, dental practitioners that, uh, that there is lack of knowledge about what is bone segmentation service or what is bone segmentation, how it is involved in guided surgery. So uh, for bone segmentation, is just a you known segmentation procedure that we get. Once we get the CBCD scan and from that CBCD scan there are some technical technicalities involved with segmentation procedure. We need to threshold that CBCD scan and then one 3D model uh, we get from uh, that conversion of bone segmentation and that model we utilize for bone supported surgical guide, bone reduction surgical guide or if you are planning any bone level surgery. Uh, we can use that bone segmentation procedure so that we can design the surgical guide precisely. If your bone segment it is say, I mean it says uh, if bone segmentation is not accurate, of course your bone reduction guide, your bone supported guide will not be precise. So uh, beyond this, I mean for uh, only not only about bone segmentation and uh, not only about guided surgery planning or bone supported guide design. We can use bone segmentations for any rapid prototyping, uh, 3D printing model, you can say, or pre-treatment planning procedures, so that you can fabricate that 3D model through any 3D printer, and you can, before the surgery, you can do a demo surgery, you can say, study, you know, tabletop surgery. So in bone segmentation, generally, we just need to, you uh, know, drag and drop the DICOM file that we get from CBCD scanner. Just drag and drop the DICOM file in the Blue Sky Plan software. So we believe Blue Sky Bio is mostly useful and precise software for bone segmentation, right? So uh, post bone segmentation, this result we achieved from the bone segmentation procedure, where we can use this 3D model for your any kind of guided surgery planning. So if you are planning for the bone supported surgical guide, so you can use this model, right? So right now we have planned this bone model for Jigoma surgery planning. So we can just plan the Jigoma implant and create the surgical guide from this bone model. So just in case if you are not segmenting this bone segmentation precisely, of course the problem will be your surgical guide will not be sitting properly in the patient mouth or you will see you know, wrong create perforation or wrong side perforation or misangulation of the osteotomy. So this is one bone model that has been segmented for Jigoma surgery planning. So another case, I mean if you are planning for the bone supported guide or bone reduction guide, so this is the bone model, right? So this bone model we have we have achieved from bone segmentation process. So if it is not accurate, of course. Your bone supported, your surgical guide is not going to be sitting properly. So, once the segmentation is done, we use this bone model to create the osteotomy guide, bone reduction guide. Same procedure you can apply for you know, if the purpose of bone segmentations uh, for 3D printing, uh, Jagoma guided surgery planning, Jagoma surgical guide, or bone supported surgical guide. You can fabricate this bone model. Uh, with 3D printer, you just need the STL file. So Blue Sky Bio is the software where you can get the STL file after segmentation from the software and you can use that STL file for 3D printing, right? Thank you so much.